Hey, Stormer Dundee here, and today we're going on a book exploration with Explorer Book, a kid's science museum and a book. This is from Klutz, which is one of my favorite publishers for books. They do a lot of really hands-on interactive books that tend to be educational. As we can see here, we're going to be looking at some science and playing with some interactive things. So this book has a lot of cool features. It is very spiral bound and it's filled with lots of activities. You can see we've got tabs on the side here that are going to tell us what we're going to learn about. You may have noticed this book looks a little uh, used. That's because it is. I bought a used copy on Amazon because my original copy I have when I was like 10 or 11 years old, I don't know where it is. So this is missing just a couple things I'm going to talk about as we go through. So for example, it is missing something that's supposed to be attached to this lovely spiral binding, which is a magnetic wand. But let's go ahead and take a look at the book. Hi Ezio. So if we take a look at the table of contents here, we've got different topics we will be learning about, including magnetism, light waves, bacteria, homemade science, bouncing light rays, and also optical illusions. So the purpose of this book is mostly to explore the different topics and use the tools that it gives you. So here, for example, is the magnetic wand that I don't actually have because it didn't come with it. But it's something you can definitely play with and do different experiments. My favorite one was always the anti-gravity machine. So you were able to take this magnetic wand, put it on top of a kind of small glass, and then you'd have a safety pen or paper clip tied to a string that was taped down and it would of course try to get at the magnet. So it demonstrates that magnetic power. Nice Siegfried and Roy picture. I really like how the Klutz books break down different concepts like the idea of something being magnetized or not magnetized. So you can see how the structures work. And it's really helpful for people who like visual and also kinetic information when they learn. So now we're going on to our next section, looking at bending light waves. It's probably a little hard to see because this is actually a textured piece of plastic that can magnify things. So this is a really tiny Batman and Robin comic, but you can make it bigger and have a chance of actually reading it if you hold the plastic just the right way to create a little lens. And then we have some magnified pictures. In this case, we have hairs emerging from the scalp, all that scalp flesh. It also usually encourages you to play with your friends and try making different experiments there. So this is the weird faces activity where you use that sheet to magnify different parts of your face. Of course, it's easy to get kids involved when you're doing gross stuff like bacteria. So even though this was used, it actually still came with its agar gel packets. So these packets are for encouraging bacterial growth. So you can see if anything shows up on the surface of a bowl. So that would be their bowl with agar gel in it to feed your little guests, meaning bacteria. And this would be what you would find if you had a nice microscope to check your results. Mmm, bacteria. So again, highly visual and actually saying what you might see if you do the bacteria experiment. So they have little annotations on all the diagrams so you can see exactly what you'd find. And yeah, turns out dog spit is uh, usually a little cleaner than hum human spit. So here's another special piece. We have another piece of plastic that is actually scratched so it creates the refraction, or sorry, diffraction gratings that you see here. Nice rainbow effect. Time for the homemade science. So they have several experiments you can do with hair dryers, and of course they start with safety warning. Hair dryers get hot, be careful with them. And then we're moving into reflections. Can't read that now, but if you had a mirrored surface, that might be a little easier. There we go. Or you might be able to get through the maze. We had a mirror to help as well. 
Some of my favorites were the optical illusions. So this is the moiré spinner that was on the front cover. And then we just got an upside down picture of Elvis. No big deal until uh, you try to turn them around. Turns out our brains don't really uh, take a look and pay attention to things like upside down eyes and lips. Mm -hmm. And of course we have twins who are the same size and some guys who are the same size too. So all in all, Klutz books like Explorer Book are really cool for teaching kids science facts, history facts, art facts, just things about our world in sort of a fun and interactive manner. So we still have our final exam. What's wrong with this caption? A Russian cosmonaut works with equipment designed to use in outer space. The spacesuit he's wearing is designed to protect him from the harsh conditions of the airless environment. Now for the quiz. I'm lying somewhere in this caption. Where? answer on the last page. So go ahead and pause it. Where is the lie? What is wrong with that caption? The answer? There's no him there at all. The cosmonaut's name is Svetlana Savitskaya and she's a mother of three. Here are some more klutz books. I do recommend any kind of klutz book. Very interesting material, very interactive, always ways of doing and making in there. I used to actually get the Klutz catalog as a kid as well. Well, that's it for today. I hope I see you again in another video. Until then, keep learning, keep growing, keep doing, keep creating. Stay curious.